American and horror stories, Coven, Satanic Witchcraft Goes Mainstream. This was, as we know on Fox, the done this series. And as you see from the image, you see three women with the serpent. The serpent is being openly promoted on television, which is not really a surprise. 2013 saw a sharp rise of the blatant promotion of the occult, black magic and satanic witchcraft in mainstream pop culture, what was once reserved for late night television or R-rated movies has now become prime time viewing. No better example of this is seen than in the American horror story Coven, the prime time cable series on Fox News Network that has become a runway rating success as it openly promotes some of the most violent, depraved and satanic imagery on television as society continues to move away from God. Shun the name of Jesus Christ and reject the Bible is it is swiftly descending into satanic rebellion. And this year's television season is an indication that the deception of the devil is now becoming mainstream, especially for the young adults and children. Very true, because many people will think of this as nothing, nothing. Oh, this is just a show, it doesn't mean anything. That's what they want you to think. <clears throat> America Horror Story. The most satanic show on television as you see see two children uh, with black eyes black eyes basically simulates possession you possessed it means the person is possessed by a demonic entity and spirit you see the satanic baphomet here and you see the circle the circle basically simulates when they do witchcraft as you know they draw a circle for in witchcraft and they put candles a lot around it with Baphomet symbols on full display the show does not hide its Satan spiritual agenda for the show's website America's horror story Coven tells the secret history of witches and witchcraft in America over 300 years have passed since the days of Salem and those who managed to escape are now facing extinction. Mysterious attacks have been escalating against their kind and young girls are being sent away to a special school in New Orleans to learn how to protect themselves wrapped in up in the tin, tin oil in new arrival zone who is hoarding a terrifying secret of her own alarmed by the recent aggression fiona the long absent supreme sweeps back into town demanding to protect the coven and hellbent on decimating anyone who gets in her way <coughs> A teenage witch using her powers to cause a bus accident that leaves the young men on the bus dismembered and dead with their dismembered bodies and several severed heads shown up close. A flashback scene focuses on Martin La Laurie who is one of the many historic references on the show a wealthy slave owner keeping slaves chained in the attic of her mansion where they are tortured they have the skin peeled from their faces and organs dug out of their body with a met metal hook the mad mean then uses their blood and makeup on their face to main her youth look for and look for and spell to keep her husband faithful very sick 
appeals blood to her face to cast a spell two of the witches in how in hunt a spell that requires a play a pledge to satan in order to resurrect a young man who had inventively died in the bus crash they toy take his severed limbs and parts from other victims of the crash to resurrect his body all shown on screen a mother sec sexually abuses her injured son in extremely graphic fashion while he is laying in bed as we know we all know that what that's what hollywood is about very sick a young witch in the coven has sexual relations with an undead human animal hybrid zoe the star of the show has the ability to kill any man she has intimate relations with as they suffer violent brain as they <coughs> and their eyes explode in a bloody mess shown on screen she uses this ability again shown in graphic fashion to murder a young man while he is coma in a coma in the hospital promotion of sinful rebellion the young witches use a board to contact the dead i mean is this not predictive programming i mean the film that come out notice though that's exactly the same name as the film that they brought out probably predictive programming all the why well, the power of the witches on there i are super are on full display the show makes every attempt to show that the witches are gent and intentionally superior to normal human beings and have no need to regard society's rules and certainly god has no role or say in anything they do in their lives because they are playing god goddess themselves and what does it say about goddesses throughout the bible in particular in the whole the old testament a battle was constantly waged between the spiritual forces under satan's leadership who sought to bring humanity into sinful rebellion and away from god and eternal life in heaven the occult was and is a major law by satan to seduce people into sin trying to access the spiritual realm in any way apart from god throughout prayer to the lord saying saving faith in jesus christ etc is witchcraft and a clear sin in the book of democracy the bible goes into great detail is describing all the practices that are an abomination to the lord when thou art come into the land which the lord thy god given thee thou shalt not learn to do after the abominations of those nations there shall not be found among you any of one that marketh his son or his daughter to pass through the fire or that useth dignitation or a of an observer of times or an enchanter or a witch or a chain chain charmer or a counts solo with familiar spirits or a wizard or an romancer for all that do these things are an abomination unto the lord and because of these abominations the lord thy god doth drive them out from before thee thou shalt be perfect with the lord thy god and here we have the baphomet this is a way to mock jesus christ you see he's chained up like he's on a cross and there's a baphomet head the minstrel character on the show bears a strong re resemblance to the Baphomet because it is 
practicing witchcraft using tarot cards and speaking with the dead are just some of the sins listed above that are all shown repeatedly on America. American Horror Show Cove in the Bible is clear that demonic forces are real and contacting them is an easy route to not just pull a person into a sinful rebellion but to being possessed by a demon themselves spirit beings are far older than human beings and this allows the devil to use the same tricks over and over again to en entice people into doing trying magic but any temporary power or experience a magic that may have its may have is not worth spread spending eternity in hell and the lake of fire this is why in the old testament law practicing witchcraft was a capital offense thou shalt not suffer a witch to live this is how dangerous the practice of witchcraft wicker or any black magic truly is making the occult cool america horror story covering connects witchcraft to women empowerment satan's fate has already been cast he will be judged and suffer forever and now he is seeking to take as many people with him be sober be diligent because your adversary the devil as a roaring lion walketh about seeking whom he may devour satan wants to destroy humanity and no he does not have the power to do that outright he does have limited authority to set up a system of sinful temptation and pop culture has provided a powerful weapon for the devil to make the occult magic and rebellion cool and what's hot right now and to no surprise young people are turning into the show in droves the first two episodes of american horror story coven were two of the top three broadcasts cast in the fox network history Additionally, it broke the record of any Fox broadcast ever in the highly coverted. Young people are turning into the show by the millions, scripture says, woe unto them that call evil God and good evil, that put darkness for light and light for darkness, that put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. Hollywood is bombarding society with darkness and making it fun, exciting and even morally good. All the agenda of Satan has been it for years. The Supreme, the lead witch, tells her students to wear black when they are outside. And the more entranced by the occult a person comes, the easier it is to move away from God in scripture King Saul the first appointed monarch of the nation of ancient Israel was in constant sin against the Lord his jealousy towards a young man named David who would grow up to usurp him as King David after his defeat of the Nephilim giant started his ascent his descent into evil he plotted on numerous occasions to kill david was willing to have him have his own son killed in his pursuit performed divine sacrifices that were only supposed to be done by priests from the tribe of levi so was from the tribe of Benjamin and repeatedly disobeyed God's commands the prophet Samuel who served as a spiritual advisor to the king reprimanded 
him sharply, saying, For rebellion is as the sin of witchcraft, and stumborn as is as quintity and adultery, because how thou hast rejected the word of the Lord, he have also rejected thee from being king. So scripture is clear that rebellion against God and witchcraft go hand in hand after God's divine protection left him and the prophet Samuel died. Saul, who never repented for his sin, went to see a witch to help him rule his kingdom. It was the, this action that was the final straw and led to his death in the days following. And this is where Colvin wants to take its fan base. The show encourages its many fans to send in their own photos of themselves dressed in black as the witches in the show are instructed to do by the supreme the highest ranking witch the pictures are then posted on a show's facebook page so not the only pro not the only promoting the account they're basically get telling the youth it's cool to do it i mean this is the brainwashing of the media fans of the show show their support for the united in black movement there we go a fan photo at the mansion of one of the real life story characters on the show the meaning of the number 13 many of the rituals on the show are based on real witchcraft a coven is defined in the dictionary and the call a call as a meeting of 13 witches why is there such an occult obsession with 13? God created all numbers, but that has not stopped Satan taking what God created and distorting it for his own purposes. And the Bible reveals all the wiles of the devil for the reader to know and be warned. The number 13 in scripture is often aligned with spiritual rebellion. In fact, the first time the word rebel appears in the Bible, it is linked to the number Genesis chapter 10, describes the wicked Nimrod, the first emperor, after the flawed founder of Babylon and the leader of the Tower of the Babylon Rebellion. And the whole earth was of one language and of one speech, and it came to pass as they journeyed from the east, that they found a plain in the land of Shinar, and they dwelt there, and they said, One to another, go to, let us make brick, and burn them freely. And they had brick for stone, and slime had they for mortar, and they said, Go to, let us build us a city, and a tower whose top may reach unto heaven and let us make us a name let lest we be scattered abroad upon the faces of the whole earth and the lord came down to see the city and the tower which the children of men builded and the lord said behold the people is one and they have all one language and this they began to do and nothing now nothing will be restrained from them which they have imagined to do go to let us go down and there come confounded their language that they may not understand one another's speech so the lord scattered them abroad from thence upon the face of the all, all the earth and they left off to build the city therefore is the name of it called Babel called because the Lord did uh, confound the language of all the earth and from thence did the Lord scatter them abroad 
upon the face of the all oh, the earth the tower of babel was no normal building it was an attempt to try and reach heaven and replace god through occult means and the nimrod was the king as the founder and the and ruler of Sima, where the tower was located was at the center of this effort nimrod's name literally means let us revel and when you count the generations of humanity from adam the first man the general is provided in the chapter 10 of genesis nimrod is in the 13th generation some may find it hard to count generations of old testament part but the bible does it itself enoch a biblical part who lived in the pre-flood world was a believer in the lord and was the first man to never die scripture tells us <clears throat> and enoch lived 60 and 50 years and begot man Jesus. and enoch walked with god after he begot and 300 years and begot sons and daughters and all the days of enoch were 360 and 55 years and enoch walked with god and he was not for god took him enoch was the first rapture confirms this by faith enoch was translated that he should not see death and was not found because god have had translated him for being before his translation he had this testimony that he ple pleased god and what is the significance attached to him we are told in the book of jude and enoch saw also the seven from adam prophesied of these saying behold the lord cometh with ten thousand of his saints <clears throat> So Enoch was righteous, believer, prophet, and as raptured for his great faith. And the Bible makes the, as, makes the point of nothing that he was in the seventh generation. From Adam, seven is a number repeatedly linked with God's righteousness in Scripture. So we have a biblical for looking at the significance of numbers even in generations on nimrod who was in the 13th generation from adam was clearly in strong rebellion against the lord he was the first conqueror shedding blood in the post flood world to establish his empire he also made the first attempt at global government with the tower of babel project a foreshadow of the antichrist who will also set up a world government in the end times his an actions were so evil that the lord personally intervened and ended him ended them in genesis chapter 13 we see one of many one of the many rituals shown on america horror story we see the first mention of sodom and gomorrah two cities is open spiritual rebellion against the lord but the men of sodom were wicked and sinners before the lord exceedingly the first use of the word rebellion is also linked to the number 12 years they served tomorrow and in the 13th year they rebelled the antichrist the sanctuary empowered false messiah who will <clears throat> who will rule over the earth for the final three to one years before the second coming of christ is described in, in detail 
in Revelation chapter 13 and his city of operations, also known as Mystery Babylon, as the full name Mystery Babylon the Great, the mother of harlots and abominations of the earth, which just happens to be 13 words while it may seem like coincidence consider that in the occult there is a major inference put on the number 13 to no surprise real life witches are celebrating the occult explosion in Hollywood <coughs> Grossman goes on to phrase the new t the new TV shows and movies promoting san satanic witchcraft and which stories are being told all around us this year Hansel and Gretel which hunters beautiful creatures all oh, the great and powerful American horror story Salem and witches of East End are just a few films and TV shows with 2013 releases. It's not that we haven't had centuries of these stories preceding us, but it seems we are witnessing a witchy tip tipping point. Spirit is a valid and noble cause as women have been historically denied this but it should not come by being yoked with demonic forces. Jesus Christ said for what is a man profited if he shall gain the whole world and lose his soul. Or what shall a man give in exchange for his soul? Many women and young girls alike have been attached to the occult for its offer of giving power and a means of leveling the playing field in a male dominated world. However, this is a all a lie as the cost of being yoked with the devil is it eternally in hell do not be deceived the long christian character ends up favoring witchcraft over the lord an america horror story the long christian character a neighbor named john ramsley is portrayed as an angry self semi-delusional woman who is mean to the ladies of the coven from the onset and comes to their home clutching a bible and telling them stay far away from her and her son and once her son falls into a coma she quickly abandons her faith and embraces one of the teen witches who was psychic abilities and is able to communicate with her unconsciousness son the show is in very clear fashion shows the long christian character giving up on prayer and her bible in order to seek help from a witch who she then longfully embraces and thanks for helping her I mean it's there's so many witchcraft that they promote it in the media the witchcraft I mean you got there 666 so the Bible is clear that Satan will use any means to deceive and destroy humanity in the midst of all of this occult pro promotion the light of the gospel sh still shines God's message is clear no matter how deep a person has fallen into the occult nature worship wicker or any type of mystical practice they can be forgiven while Satan wants believers to follow his antichrist or burn in hell the Bible says that God 
is long surfing to us would not willing that any should perish but that all should come to repentance tv shows like coven and witches of east end show powerful intellect attractive women and young ladies who defy death through spells and indications all this signals the truth we are all going to die the reason why reincarnation has to be constantly promoted in these programs is so that the viewer does not think about their sin and god's impending judgment the bible says it is appointed unto man once to die and then the judgment this life is ours our only chance to either choose god and eternal life or die in sinful rebellion like the many who have devoted their lives to the occult there is a way to eternal life and it does take supernatural power power but that power belongs to jesus christ christ took a human form to offer himself the just dying for the unjust as a sacrifice to take the punishment we all deserve not just for the occult but for lie lying stealing blaspheming god's name racism sexual sin and all the other ways we have violated god's law jesus christ chose to suffer on the cross and endure god's wrath so that we would not and it does not take any action on our part to receive this blessing of forgiveness it just takes a humble heart to recognize our own sin and faith to believe in god's way of reinstoring reinstoring us very true amen it's what satan wants you to think that you can't get out your sin you're always going to be stuck in that life and you're going to go to hell God will forgive you no matter what. God bless.